There's something else going on in our world. Google's here. Google works in a worldwide market. This is, this is a company that's, that's in the early stages. It's like Oracle in, you know, you know, shortly after, after, after the, the standard, right? This is a company that, that out of the box is a global company. Oracle, within five years, was doing more of its business outside the United States than they did within the United States. And that was in the, in, in the 80s. We're now, we're now at 2010. This is a global marketplace. This is a global world. Everything is global, okay? That we deal with global systems, not just IT. Everything is global. We have a 24 by 7 operation in everything we do. So, I believe open standards are a global imperative. And this is a hard sell, especially to emerging economies. Okay. Because, because it's very tempting in an emerging economy to, to establish standards to protect your, your, your nascent business. Okay. It's very tempting to say, well, we're going to use standards as non-tariff trade barriers. Now, you don't say that, okay? But, but in essence, too, you want to protect your business, okay? But the fact is, why would you develop businesses that are incapable of competing in a worldwide market when success today almost requires that you go into a worldwide market? I don't care how big your market is. I don't care if you're China. Yeah, you can sell to those millions and millions of people in China, but success for the Huawei, success for the Lenovo's is going to be to sell into worldwide market. And I'm running over. So I'm, I'm, uh, let me make this last point, and then I'll try to, to shut down. Let me just say this. Companies, IT industries, governments have a choice. They can depend on a proprietary base. That is, they can, they can build their new product on a proprietary base, and let the owner of that proprietary base determine what, when, and how that base has changed. They can, they can determine what, what the, the value. You build value on top of that base, but the owner of the base determines the direction the base takes. Or you can build your, your new business, your new product, on top of an open standards base. You aren't going to control it, but you can have a seat at the table. You're going to be able to see how it's going to be evolved. You, you can build your product and, and, and add your value and not be worried that that value will be taken away or that the base upon which you build it will be, will be, will be moved and your value gone. Okay. I, I, let me just say that we're talking today about, about the European Union, the 